Good morning, boys and girls. Welcome back to Jelly's Chapel. We've been doing the five fingers of prayer. First one, remember it? Adoration. Telling God how great he is. Confession. Saying, God, we're sorry for these things that we've sinned against you. Or what a sin was? Anything we think, say, or do that hurts the heart of God. So you have adoration, confession, thanksgiving, thanking God for all the things that he's done for us, the little things and the big things. Now we have another big, big word, intercession. Can you say intercession? Intercession. Adoration, confession, thanksgiving, intercession. These are big grown-up words but I know you can learn them. Now, intercession is asking God for help with some other people, other people's needs. So if we're asking that grandma feel better, if we're asking for our dad to not be in pain so much, if we're asking for our friend to have a better day, these aren't our request. This isn't something for me. This is something for them. Now I've got a question. We're going to rewind a little bit. Will God only hear us if we go in this order? Will God only hear us if we do this at all? What if our prayer is just, oh my gosh, God, please help me. What if our prayer is, God, I don't have the words. Can the Holy Spirit give words to it? What if our prayer is just a picture in our head? It's just a picture of someone being better. A picture of Jesus hugging someone. That's what I do when I don't have words. I picture Jesus hugging that person. That's a lot of my intercession. Sometimes I don't have words for people. No, God wants to hear from us. There isn't a right way to pray. But the five fingers of prayer does is it puts our heart in the right place. It puts our heart in a good place to talk to God. It helps me. It's helped a lot of people for a long time. It's not the only way to pray, but it's a great way to get our hearts in the right place. Okay? So we do adoration. God, you are great. Confession. God, I am sorry. Thanksgiving, thank you, God, and intercession. God, can you help my friend? So some are, what are some things we can do for intercession? So like I just said, I don't have the words sometimes. Or sometimes I don't know what my friends need. Sometimes I don't know what my dad needs. Sometimes I don't know what my kids need. I don't have the right words. So what I do is I close my eyes real tight and I picture them hugging Jesus. And I think a hug from Jesus can heal just about anything. What do you think? Intercession is praying on behalf of somebody else. So this week, my dad is going to a doctor. It's kind of a scary doctor. So I'm going to pray that my dad is brave. My son, Tyler, is going to the orthodontist today. And he's a little bit scared to get an expander in his mouth. I'm going to pray that he is brave and courageous. My husband, Brian, is in a lot of pain today. So I'm going to pray that just a little bit of that pain goes away. And that he can find joy in things. Intercession. Our prayers for other people. Not for me, but for other people. So, so far, we have adoration, confession, thanksgiving, intercession. All right, you got your piece of paper out? I want you to think about intercession right here. I want you to list all the people you want to pray for. The cool thing about St. Luke's too is that we have a prayer every single Sunday in the bulletin 
If you look, there's a list of people to pray for. So if you don't know who to pray for in the bulletin, there's a whole list of people. It's a great way to intercede for someone else. But I bet you have someone in your life that could use a little bit of prayer. We could all use a little bit of prayer. So in our session, I want you to draw or write the people that you want to pray for today. If you really know, you can write why you want to pray for them. If not, maybe you picture them hugging Jesus. Dear God, thank you for prayer. Thank you that we can come to you whenever we need to, whenever we want to, that you want to hear from us. Thank you that there's not a right or wrong way to pray. Thank you that you just want to hear our hearts. God, please help us to have a heart for other people. Help us to see what their needs are and let us bring them to you. God, we love you. Thank you for loving us. Amen. See you next week.